I mean, see, all right, how to model a stool. So I will go ahead and get myself a cube. What I should do? Just move all this stuff right here. Looks like it's like this. It looks like it has some divisions, kind of like that. And then I'll go ahead, double click, and then I'll do a bevel edge and this, and then do another one in the middle. Shift, shift. That's in. That was wrong. I meant to get this one. So now I'll pull this down. Pull this in this way. Another edge, select everything, shift right click, bevel edge, segments. So now I have this. Then time for a leg. So I'll get myself a cylinder, art scale. Remember, you can make something like super big and then scale it down later. So take this, scale it out. And then I can go ahead and take this bottom part, art scale. But look, also when you keep things in the middle and you model them, it can help you out later. I'll show you what I mean. So this is cool. But then let's say I want the like the little stubby part on here on the leg so r to scale pull this out like this and then i'll just go get shift on the edges shift right click bevel edge put on control now i go to segments right here three now i just select this whole thing and then i gotta do a combine or a group you know i might as well combine it shift right click and i'll just do a Oh, wait, did, did I combine them? Move too quick. Uh, combine. Now R to scale. Now I just scale it down. Now go over here. Whoa. Here. Selecting too much. Go over here. Put it right here. And I can just press my space bar. So I'm going this view right here. Just to make this easier on myself. All I'm doing right now is using the grid. So I have a little space right here, a little space right there. And I'll take this, I'll put this. Let's not say in the center, it's like the center of this one. And then I'll go right click, go to vertex, select all these vertexes, and I'll drag this out. So let's say right here. Now let me look at this from the top view. You see where it is, press um, four for wireframe. And then I'll just move this right over here. Then I'll do control D, move this over here. And then I can select both of these and I can use this mirror tool where I click on this one time, go to cut geometry, go to off, and then axis, I think it's like X. So let me see what's doing. Oh. Wait, do you see how the legs are kind of curved towards the seat at the top? That's the part I was confused. Mm, no, don't see that. Um, yeah, I don't see that. Uh, let me down. Let me do this. Save image.
Yeah, I just see his leg. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Okay, so in that case, uh, let's just do... Let's do this. I'll get a cylinder. Scale it out. Now do Control D, E. Hold on, J. Get another one. And I go combine. Go to face, select both the faces. Oh, wait, let me show you what I'm doing so I don't move too fast. So what I did is I put it in face mode, select both of these faces, hold on control, hold on control. So we just have these faces right here selected, press five again, shift right click, and we're gonna do a, uh, a um, what is that? Bridge faces. Now we have this right here, but if I go to divisions and up the divisions, we see more divisions, but also we have to go to curve type and we go to bit, well, I thought it was going to say bend, but it says blend. Okay. And the more divisions, the you know smoother it can get. I guess it's just do 10. So we have this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, duplicate this. So if I go over here and I do a control D, bring this out, press E. I'll even center the pivot and then hold down J. We'll turn it full um, 180 degrees so they match up. Now here's a time I can fake and just put this here and be like, yeah, I'm done. But if we wanna be real about it, let's be real. Let's keep it real, right? So let's go to, we have to combine them first before we can bridge them. So hold down both of them, shift right click and go to combine. And then we go to faces, select these faces right here. Hold on control and deselect the rest of them. Press five, shift right click and let's go to bridge faces. Do the quit. Now there are these two edges right here and we don't really need them. If they were there still, it doesn't matter, but uh, I'm just gonna delete them for good measure. So shift right click and go to delete edge. Now we're good, right? So now we have this. And what we can do now is, oh, let me see if I scale this up. How big would it be? Yeah, I think it'd be about this big. So let's say I did have this, and this is on the edge. Let me do space bar so I can see a little better. Remember, if this was supposed to be thinner, we can make this bigger, All right? And then what we can do is we could just take this, go to vertex, select all these, oh, oh. push the W and push those out. We can do the same thing over here, push these out. Go to vertex and take both of these and well if i was to scale them out like this it could get like weird so we could just take one and move it out a little bit and then shake this kind of move it down there we go And then if we wanted to, we could also rotate that as well, which I think I will do just to do it. So let me select all these. So right now I have a bunch of stuff in the way. I don't want to see the rest of the stuff. So I'll just select well, you know, I'll select this and then I'll go to isolate selection. 
oh, it's only isolated in this viewport. So instead of that, I'll select all this stuff and then I'll press H to hide. So we just have this. Now what I can do is I can press uh, E, I mean W to move and press um, D for the pivot. Move this over here, move this over here. And then press R, I mean, E to rotate, and then just rotate. Oh, I did that the wrong way. Select this. Yeah, and I can rotate it like that, and then move it. And I can do the mirror thing. Cut geometry off. What direction is in? Z. And I can just push this over here. And there we go. And we can do that little thing that we did before and put the little, uh, the cylinder on the end of this. If it really means that much to us. But that's something we probably should have done in the beginning and then duplicated it. You know, I could just go here and do this or something. And then put edge. Double click, shift, double click, shift, right click, bevel, edge, fraction, segments. Yeah, then we have this. Swiss bar, Swiss bar. Control D. Control D, push this over. And then what I do is I just select all these and do Control G and do leg p and then with the c oh, i spelled that all wrong we lowercase uppercase group and then select the whole thing do control g and do uh Tool group, and then I'll center this pivot, and then I'll go ahead and unhide everything. I could literally go through and press H and press H, but instead I'm just gonna go to select, I mean, uh, no, 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 display, show all, and then that brings back the whole kitchen. And then also when you select, when you have things in a group, if you select any object in the group, and then you press the up arrow on your keyboard, it gets the whole group. And then I can just go in here, scale it down, and uh, just scale this thing down. Make sure it's on the floor. That's set. Remember, select any object, press up, you get the whole group. Control D. And we could like move this one a little bit. Because remember, randomization makes things look a little bit real, more real. And that's how you make a bar stool. And my...